This is what I made the blades out of. It's one by eight bevel cedar siding. It's just a regular grade. I picked through the lift of siding to try and get the least knots possible. And then what I did is I took a table saw and I cut a 45, 45 here and then a 45 there and then I rounded it with um, just a palm sander or orbital tool. I used a spool from a, uh, would you buy wire or cord in? It's like a, it's got a top and a bottom. And I thought, great, I already got a pre cut circle. These pieces here are bits of, um, it's a, a part of bevel cedar siding. It's like the thicker part. Then I created my blades initially. It's a piece of bevel cedar siding. And then I rounded, well actually I cut the end, the front down on a table saw and then I rounded it with a sander. That was my first attempt. Anyway, I did a little bit of testing and I didn't get my wind turbine up high enough to get any decent wind. So what I end up doing is taking a piece of uh, vinyl, like laminate, that I found from somewhere. Actually it's one of the backings from my solar panels. and rolled it around, glued it underneath, and just screwed it. Not the best way. I recommend you use a strip of wood to stick it on, but this is more like a test. And then just for my spacers, I just took a three inch deck screw, screwed it into here. You can see it's a little dirty. It was uh, outside out in the rain and just got wet. So I haven't tested it yet. Uh, I don't really get good wind here. And uh, but anyway I'm I'm still messing around with it. I got some other ideas. Part of the fun is just building it and then seeing how it works. Oh this one here you can see this is half a section of three inch ABS pipe and then I just cut a little strip and use that to form the, the curve sort of thing. So for my bearing I was going to use this magnet. You see on the other side right here it's a really powerful magnet. So you'd have both ends, like north facing north, and they would repel, and that would create a wonderful. So just for illustration purposes, this is how it work. I've got one magnet here, and it's north here, and then this is another magnet here, and it's north here. And see how, now this is, this is just a piece of pipe I stuck for a spacer. Uh, it's not what was in place, but if I push this up, now full weight is resting on the shaft and in between the magnet. See how there's a space in between? So that would make this a fantastic bearing. It's really pushed down there.